Hello, Mayday family. How are you doing today? For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Mayday and I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel. I like this video for the YouTube algorithm as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Hola, 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 mi gente. ¿Cómo están? How are you guys doing today? ¿Cómo están haciendo? Um, it's a Sunday morning. It's looking gorgeous outside. And then I stop to think, hey, let me go ahead and take advantage of the sunlight. So if you guys have been following me, um, you know that lights have been one of my struggles and I bought lights actually I think it was last year and I thought it was gonna solve all my problems and it did not I still find that natural light is the best source of light so I was like let's let's go outside and let's let's have a discussion so today what I want us to talk about is if love is enough I, I get this question a lot um, Sometimes I'm surprised as to how much I get this question. I, I think at this point I'm used to it now just because it comes up so often as far as is love enough. Now someone might ask me this question, not necessarily directly, right? The, the question that they might ask me might sound more like, well, I love him, so why wouldn't I do it? Right? or I stay because I love him. So it's not necessarily someone coming to me with the direct exact words, is love enough? But essentially it all kind of drills down to the same concept. So I just feel like it's a really good time to address that now. And especially with everything that's going on due to the COVID, it has really exasperated people's relationships, how they view those things, and you know, certain people when they're forced, now that they've been forced to spend more time with their significant other, you know, these questions that maybe weren't there before are now arising. So I feel like just just tackling that, that question um, would be a really good topic for today. So is love enough? Well, let me, let me start with telling you this before we kind of dive into that question a little bit further. So there's a story that I want to tell you. And this happened to me in my early 20s. And it, it was just, it, it was kind of crazy. So I was dating this guy, you know, and everything was going, at least from my perspective, I felt like everything was going great. Everything's going well. Awesome. You know, he lived pretty far from me. So he lived about 45 minutes, I think, from me. So really, really far. Um, and that presented a challenge in our relationship, right? Because it's different if you just live five minutes away versus if you just, if you live 45 minutes away, maybe how often you might get to engage and see each other. It might make it a little bit more challenging. Well, in our case, it did make it challenging and it was just something that was a that just kind of came with with being in a relationship and talking to each other so from my perspective we were kind of going well you know we, we would still see each other um, he would come see me we would plan things together and so I felt like oh this is great this is going really well well, one day we made plans to go to a basketball game, I believe it was. And so we're going to go to a basketball game. Keep in mind, you guys, now as I am right now, I'm sorry, I have sensitive skin, so I'm not, you know, I'm not outside too often. But anyways, so keep in mind that um, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> So keep in mind, you guys, that I am not particularly fond of crowded places. I do not go to concerts very often. I mean, the last concert I've been to at this point in time, it's been years. I don't, um, you know, like the fair, when the fair is in, I don't really find it fun to go to the fair, you know, so things like that. But back then I was, you know, in my early 20s and so it was fine. Like I, I still think that they can be fun events to go to. So we're planning to go to um, a basketball game to, to watch the basketball game and then get some food afterwards. And like he had bought the tickets and showed me online that he had bought the tickets and like the times and sent it over. And so it was like, great. So the day of 
the basketball game rolls around. And so I get ready during the day. I'm waiting for him to arrive. I'm texting him like, hey, are you on your way? He's texting me back like, yeah, I'm on my way. And so he gets there. He, he gets to, to my place to um, to pick me up. But then when he gets to my place, he, he comes in, sits down. And I'm like, so are we leaving? You know, do you want to leave now? What, what time was it supposed to start? And so he starts showing me like screenshots that said that they had changed the time or something. Because keep in mind, I don't have a copy of the ticket. It, it was just him kind of like fast showing me things and, and telling me like, this is one time we have to get ready. And he starts showing me things like, oh, the time had changed on when the game was supposed to be or something like that. So we can just get some food beforehand I can go I can go out pick up some food beforehand and then just come back and then we can eat and then we can go from there and I was like okay that's a little weird but okay sure why not and I was like oh sure you don't want me to come with you to go grab some food and then maybe we don't even have to come back he was like no 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 no. it's totally cool like I'll just go grab some food and I'll come back okay I was like what do you want it's like pizza is fine and so he went out you know under the pretense that he was gonna go get some food. And um, 30 minutes, 40 minutes passed by, and I'm wondering like, well, geez, like, it's just some pizza. Where I mean, where could he be, right? So I texted him and I was like, hey, like, is everything okay? Um, isn't the game gonna start? Are we gonna still make it in time? And uh, like about five minutes later, he texted me back and he says, yeah, actually, I left and I'm on my way back home and I'm not coming back. So you can imagine my kind of like terror and just horrified. I was, I was, I was horrified. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know what to say. We had never really argued, right? We No. I mean, we're still early on in the relationship. So I didn't know what to make of that. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, what's, what do you mean you're not coming back? What's going on? And so he sent me another text and he was like, I'm always the, you know, I'm always the one having to drive to you. You never offer to come see me or drive to me. So I'm just not coming back. So I was obviously distraught over that, right? So I, I bring that story to you because I want you to think about this for a second and tell me what you think. Who do you feel like was in the wrong in that situation? Was it me for never offering to do the driving or do some driving or go see him? Was it him? What do you think, right? So as the years have gone by, I have kind of come up with my thought process on that right and this kind of ties back to the question that we're looking at today is love enough well I think from where I am right now and from the knowledge I've gathered over the years the answer to that question honestly it's, a, it's quite simple no um, love is not enough so let's dive into what that means a little bit more okay so in that example that i just gave you both parties were probably at fault right but if we look at it and we want to say like okay who is more at fault he was probably more at fault right because there was no communication beforehand as to if there was an issue what the issue was um and Apparently, this was obviously something that was on his mind, right? Always thinking about this and probably something that translated to, well, she never thinks about me or she's not considerate of me. And this was one of the examples, right? And so that's an issue, don't get me wrong. So that's something that you want to look out, be on the lookout for. But if you never communicate that to the other person, then whose fault does it really become, right? So all of that to say that when it comes to love, love is great to have and necessary to have if you're going to be 
in a romantic relationship with someone um, it can be necessary to have I'll say it like that um, but it's also equally as important to have other skills and traits so first of all, you have to be with someone that's ready to be in a relationship. You have to be someone that's ready to be in a relationship and open to be in a relationship. If someone says to you, I'm just not really looking for a relationship, that's a red flag and probably a really good indication that you should go the opposite direction, right? So you have to be with someone that's on the same page as you, like that you both can be on the same page or you both are able to get on the same page, right? And that's a skill set that is, in a lot of ways, more important than love because love cannot stand the test of time without you both being able to be on the same page or get on the same page if you're not already on the same page, right? So love is not enough. Love is almost basically just like a first step. A lot of people see love as like the final goal and destination versus what they should be seeing, which is love as literally just the first step. It, it, literally, it's just the first step because there's all these things that have to come afterwards for it to actually work. So there's that, there's communication. I know you know this, but I will say it anyway, right? Communication is fundamental to any relationship. So if we're not able to communicate to each other, if our communication styles don't match, if I'm saying something about something that hurts my feelings, but then you try to dismiss that or undervalue that, that's an issue, right? And that's those are communication then ends up being an issue that's even more important than love. So you could love someone, but if you're not able to be on the same page or get on the same page, or you're not able to communicate with each other, then love isn't enough. You know, that is a situation that you might have to walk away from. You might have to consider, is this the best for me at this point in time? So I just wanted to share that little tidbit. There's a lot more that can be discussed on that topic and I will be covering a lot more in a lot more videos in the future. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. Join the Mayday family. Helps my channel a lot. Helps us a lot. Helps me a lot. Um, if you like the content, of course. And also go ahead and give a thumbs up to this video if you found it any tad bit um, helpful. And leave a comment below on what you think. I want to hear what your thoughts are, what your questions may be when it comes to this particular topic. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.